Hey everybody, welcome back. I assume at this point that you've seen the video for part one where we learned to play some quarter note beats and we played along with the song Ragdoll by Aerosmith. In this song, in this lesson, we're going to, um, we're going to learn eighth note beats and we are going to play along with the song Back in Black by ACDC. This is the beat that we looked at in the last lesson. It's quarter note beat. As you can see, we've got the entire measure worth of music, which is from this end to that end, and that is four beats long. So if we take the entire measure and cut it into four parts, that's four quarters. So each of these notes right here represents one quarter of the measure, so these are called quarter notes. In our new beat, we're going to have eighth notes, and the beat looks like this. Notice that um, we still are dividing into four beats, but now, as the eighth notes are uh, cutting the entire measure into smaller fractions, we are going to beam the note stems together with these beams, and we're going to be able to see that there are still four beats, but now we're going to have the first half and the second half of that time that was associated with beat one. What this means to us is that we're going to play the exact same beat that we used to have, which was quarter notes, so kick and hat on one, and snare and hat on two. And so here's our beat, kick, snare, kick, snare. Now with eighth notes, we're going to hit twice as often on the hi-hat, but the kick and the snare are going to happen at the exact same speed. So kick, snare, kick, snare becomes kick and snare and kick and snare and. Those halfway between the beats places, the industry standard is to call that spot in between the beats and. So it doesn't matter, you go to college, whatever, they call that spot and. One and two and three and four and. And that's the entire beat. So here we are in the second chorus of the song. I picked this spot as we're coming out of the chorus because I don't want to have any of the crazy fills that they have. The guitar solo is a great spot. So for now, like I just did, they have this little interesting fill. Play right through the fill. Just keep your beat steady. Listen for those flams like we were before. And you'll be good. And that's it. Lesson two is just all about being able to hold down that eighth note beat with extra hits on the hi-hat. If you can get me a 10 second video of you playing the beat and looking like you've got it solid, that's lesson two and assignment turned in. Till next time.